What up, YouTube? TTC, Dirty Bird Nation, Rise Up Nation. Everybody in that brotherhood was good. How y'all doing today? Sergeant AR10 back with another video talking about these Carolina Panthers or Panthers uh, that were playing on Sunday in Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, shout out to all the Carolina vid makers, uh, Pat Coltrane, CPG, uh, T Money, everybody that does uh, the Carolina Panthers podcast, um, the C three uh, C three podcast, and Keep Pounding TV. Shout out, shout out to all y'all, man. Y'all, y'all represent y'all team, man. But um, looking at this game on Sunday, uh, we line up, you know, against the Carolina Panthers. I was watching the game uh, when they played Green Bay, man. Um, Man, the defense is not the same. Not the same, man. Uh, the Packers O-line struggled initially with them a little bit. Um, I think they ran a lot of stunts up front uh, with their D-linemen. And shout out to Coach Washington, too, man. He's my um, defensive coordinator back in the day. And uh, he's a defensive coordinator now. So, um, man, it was just, um, you know, back and forth game in the beginning. But something happened where... Uh, the Packers made some uh, adjustments, and they, they ran the ball, I mean, right down their throats, man. Luke Keekley is not the same. He's not the same. You know what I'm saying? Their defense isn't the same. Um, they got Bradbury on the outside. Um, you know, they got a couple other, you know, corners. They got Eric Reed, you know, as safety. But I just don't think that D is, is the same as it used to be now. Back in 14, 15, 16, Carolina Panthers defense was serious, man, but it's not the same anymore, man. Um, Packers just gashed them, man, gashed them on the run. And then Devontae Adams, you know, he he made plays against him in the past. Um, man, their tight end, Packers tight end, uh, made plays against them as well, man. So I don't, I don't think we're going to have any trouble with this team, man. I'm actually confident that we're going to get this win as well. Um, I, say, I see us winning by like six, maybe ten points. Um, 21 to 13, maybe, you know, 16 to 24 or something like that. But, um, I know we can move the ball against their defense and then their offense, man. I just don't, I don't believe in their receivers, man. Curtis Samuel, DJ Moore, Steve Smith already called them out, man. I just don't see them making any big plays uh, against us, man. The, I mean, the, the key to beating Carolina is to stop number 22. Number 22 and Greg Olson is their whole offense, man. When they played Tampa Bay that first time, man, Tampa Bay, the yucks, man, exposed their offensive line, exposed them so bad, man. They could not block anybody. And the way my Dirty Birds played this last Sunday, I think Allen is in for uh, afternoon of pain, you know what I'm saying? Um, I don't think they can block Grady. I don't think they can block Claiborne, Tyler Davidson, Allen Bailey. Um, I just don't think they can block any Beasley. I don't think they can block any of our guys up front. The best thing I think they're going to do, the best thing for them to do is just give it up the middle to McCaffrey. I know McCaffrey's going to get 30, maybe even 35 touches this game. You know what I'm saying? They're going to try to keep our offense off the field. Um, and then on defense, they're going to bracket Julio like they always do. They'll they'll have Bradbury and a, and a safety bracket Julio, and they'll try to make, you know, Ridley and Gage and, you know, some other players, maybe Justin Hardy freaking uh, make plays, man. We are out a tight end, man. Hooper is hurt. I think it's MCL, sprained, bruised. So he's going to miss a couple weeks, man. That That hurt, man. That really hurt. Why is Dirk Cutter, when we have control of the game, calling a tight end screen to one of our best players out on the edge who doesn't have the speed to really get up field, and he gets hurt, man. It's just, just stupid, man. Dumb, dumb play call. And that play call where, you know, they're running cover two and you try to throw a deep ball, um, where we got the lead, and you need to run the ball three times, uh, eat up as much clock as you can and then punt and put them back on the 10 or maybe inside the 10 yard line and make them go 90 yards just to get a touchdown. I don't know why we were throwing the ball with four, you know, five, four minutes left and we got a freaking 26 to nine lead, man. It's just stupid, man. It's just dumb, man. Dumb play call, dumb throw from Matt Ryan.
You know what I'm saying? But anyway, um, I don't see us having any problems with these guys. Unless somebody gets hurt, um, I don't see, see us having any problems, man. We might, might be uh, without Devontae Freeman. I think his foot is hurt. So we're going to be down Ito and Devontae. We're going to be down two, <laughs> two running backs. Uh, we're going to be down a tight end as well. So, um, guys got to step up and make plays, man. You know what I'm saying? Brian Hill's got to step up and make plays. I don't know if um, Keon Bonner's going to get, you know, more carries or more passes or more or more touches, or is Quadri going to get put into the active, you know, active lineup, man? Quadri Olsen, nobody's seen this guy. This guy's legs should be super fresh, man. We should, <laughs> if he's in the game, man, we should give him at least 15 carries, man. <laughs> he should be ready to go. We should be ready to crank up freaking Quadri, man, for a good, you know, quarter and a half, two quarter, get him out there, man, see, see what he's got, you know what I'm saying? Um, but, you know, for the rest of the offense, just got to make plays um, for the defense. Look, man, put Deion Jones or freaking Foyer <laughs> on Greg Olson. You know what I'm saying? Make them guys cover Greg Olson. Do not let Devon Drake Campbell cover Greg Olson, man. It's going to get ugly. You know what I'm saying? Um, in open space, you got to tackle McCaffrey. Now, when you hit him, when you hit him initially, you have to drop him backwards because he's the type of running back that he might be stopped for a two-yard game, but his momentum and his legs will push him forward where he ends up getting three and a half or four. You know what I'm saying? He gets dirty yards. You know what I'm saying? He breaks that initial contact or he, he'll he shake the first tackler, you know what I'm saying, and then end up getting four to eight yards, man. We can't let that happen. You know what I'm saying? We have to hit him and push him back, keep him from getting those extra yards. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't think that Ola can block our D-line. Um, Oliver, <laughs> he struggled with Michael Thomas, man. But I don't think he's going to struggle this week. Um, I seen uh, Bleedy Bray Wilson get some time out there. I don't know if Devontae, uh, I mean, I don't know if Trufant's coming back or not. But uh, he missed the last game as well. KZ was balling. Rico was balling, man. These guys, I mean, just take the same momentum from last Sunday and carry it over to Charlotte, North Carolina. And I promise you, we will stomp them. You know what I'm saying? So, we'll see what happens, man. That's just my um, my preview for the uh, Carolina Panthers, man. We'll see what kind of Falcons team we get on Sunday. But, anyway, Sergeant AR-10 signing out.